it would provide an improved sports facility that could set within the centre of the site away from the boundaries of the site and adjacent houses. In the event of any evening use of the building, there was a suggested condition that on Mondays to Fridays it would not go beyond 9.30 and on Saturdays it would not go beyond 6 o'clock and no time at all on Sundays or on holidays. Given that these times would be when the school car, car park is generally not in use for school business, it's not anticipated that there will be a greater impact on traffic and parking and roads in the area. And on that basis, it is recommended for approval. And there is a form of our petition, Chair. Does the representative want to come forward and speak? If you just press the silver button on the, left, on the bottom of the microphone, it will come on. Um, and can you just introduce yourself for a couple of minutes? Yeah.
Despite a strong presentation from the residents, the school has refused to change height and construction materials. With regards to the community use, the same guidance applies. RE1, the proposal says, would not give rise to unacceptable levels of noise or other disturbance, particularly to areas of residential property. The facility would be available from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. weekdays and 9 to 6 on Saturdays for community use. Access to the school is along the small residential roads and the school is totally surrounded by housing. Clearly, uh, currently the properties backing onto the school enjoy an extremely quiet and peaceful environment when the school is closed. At night, it's complete darkness and silence. The extended hours of community use will expose these properties to the exact opposite. The contrast will be quite extreme. The proposed building has opening windows as a source of ventilation. In the sports hall, these windows could be permanently open. There will be noise issues. Aerobics classes, loud pumping music, cars coming and going. Have these issues, these issues been considered? I would suggest not, based on the extract from the planning officer's report. Environmental health have no objections to the proposal, but then went on to say, if neighbours were to experience noise or light pollution, there is environmental health legislation to deal with this. Well, that is clearly not good enough. These issues should be addressed as part of the planning approval process. Taking all these issues into account, do you believe that this is a correct location for a community use badminton sports hall? We urge you to refuse this application on the ground that it is not acceptable in scale and design and is considered to harm the character of the original school building and the residential properties. I'll leave you with this quote, Renzo Piano, the famous architect who designed the Shard in London. Architecture is a very dangerous job. If a writer makes a bad book, people don't read it. If you make bad architecture, you impose ugliness on a place for hundreds of years. Thank you. Thank you very much.
uh, I realize that under the conditions we have yet to decide what the color of that corrugated metal is going to be, but it looked totally out of keeping, and it is seen from the adjacent roads quite um, uh, grotesquely, the word that I might use in this instance, and, and for those of us who went on the site visit the other day, I think we could appreciate the effect it would have on the visual and local neighborhood of that amenity of um, the needs of residents. I'm all in favor of having facilities for children at school. We all need them, we all support them. But I think this particular development is a bridge too far, and too big, it's out of keeping, and I would prefer them to go away and come back with something more sympathetic, which would fit into the area while providing additional facilities for the um, school children. So I will be voting against this application. Thank you. Pre future, I mean, yes, there are no changing facilities other than the schools existing facilities that it has that are elsewhere on site. Uh, in terms of the size of it, we can talk to Warden Ian and ask their advice for the appropriateness of this building in relation to a school and its use. And the advice would be that this is the minimum size for, for this particular use, which is a school, yes. <coughs> Uh, and yes, the, the relationship with buildings around the site was considered. The distance of the, the proposed sports hall from existing houses, the height of existing houses, which you'd expect to be in the region of seven to eight metres for a semi attached house, roughly for ridge height, is felt to be comparable to the buildings on the site. It is a school site with school buildings that are quite separate from the buildings that surround it. listen to uh, the people that we put in their points of view over to us, I would like to propose a refusal uh, on the proposal development would be reasonable on this height, bulk and fairness of indigenous element which is unsympathetic and aiding to design and layout of the original school buildings, thereby distracting visitors and communities. The proposal are therefore contrary to policy HS15 of the WWE. 